Today's contestants are Caroline Kelly, a library manager from Reading, and Joel Salkin, a business development manager from Middlesex. They're here to play TV Scrabble. Hello there and welcome once again to the high pressure game show that is TV Scrabble where our two contestants are standing by and ready and waiting to play their words onto our giant high tech screen like this. It works, good, it costs us a fortune. Now the winner in this half of the show will be going into the head to head final in part two. Whoever wins that goes into the winner of the week final and of course there is that brilliant prize waiting for the winner of the series which is a fantastic holiday for two to Las Vegas, where the World Scrabble Championships will be happening later on this year. Uh, Joel, presumably Las Vegas wouldn't hold too many surprises for you. Well, it does change every year, but I have been there quite a few times. Because you spent a fair amount of time as a croupier, haven't you? Yeah, I was a croupier and a casino manager, yes. Yeah, and you, so you've seen the lights and glamour and the boards in, in Las Vegas? Absolutely, but my wife never has, and she wants to go badly. Well, you better do well, then. Right. Good luck. Thank Hello, Caroline. You. Hello. I gather you're a new mum. I am, yes. You've got a little one. What's her name? Jade. And how old is she? Six months old. Six months old. So have you managed to get much sleep? She's very good at nights, yeah. I'm pleased to hear it. But you balance that with studying university. You're doing an English Lit degree course. That's right, yes. How do you manage to do both? Uh, it's a part-time course, but I've got a wonderful husband and a very good baby. And they'll both be watching today. They will. Good luck to you both. Good luck yeah. to everyone playing at home. Let's play TV Scrabble. <laughs> So, round one is duplicate Scrabble, where each of our contestants receive the same selection of seven letters. However, they only have 20 seconds to play the highest scoring word that they possibly can onto the giant board. And they're keeping an eye, as you are at home, on those crucial premium squares. There they are on the board. Light blue is a double letter score. The dark blue square will treble it. The pink will double your word score. And those four reds in the corners will treble your word score. Also worth mentioning that if you manage to use all seven letters in one word, you get a bonus of 50 points. But remember that all the words that you do play have to be in the Chambers Dictionary. And please do play your word, your first word, through the centre square. So, if you're both ready, here come your first seven tiles. S, T, C, N, I, E and V. Your time starts now. OK, time's up. Caroline, what word are you going to play? Vices. Vices. OK, let's see vices on the board. Score to you 20 points. That's a nice start. Joel, what's your word? Evicts. Evicts. OK, but we can have those words on the board. Here come all the letters even. Evicts is on the board. It's 22 points. It's a higher scoring word. So we'll leave up that one there. And here come your next seven letters. Y, R, E, R, O, U and E. Your time starts now. Ten to go. OK, time's up now. Joel, what word do you want to play? Very. Very. Very good. Get you 20 points. Caroline. Yours. Yours. OK, let's see yours fly up onto the giant board. OK, also every, you could use the V there in Evix, would have got you 22 points, but it's good. We're going to leave the highest scoring word up there on the board, which is the very. And here come your next seven letters. A, L, Q, T, A, R and G. Time starts now. Ten seconds to go. All right, time's up. Caroline. OK, let's see that on the screen. What? But what does it mean? It's a good word. It gets you 12 points. Joel, what are you going to play? The plural. Q, 
Q-A-T-S. Let's play that onto the board. Quats, then. Doubles it. Apparently, it's an East African shrub, or shrubs, as Joel would put it. So, eyes down and looking, here come your final seven tiles. They are N, R, G, S, U, E and R. Your time starts now. OK, time's up. Joel, concentrating hard there. What word are you going to play? Surge. Surge. Let's surge those letters onto the giant board. And there they are, linking up with the E in Evix. Gives you 12 points on that move. Caroline. Ranges. Ranges. OK, let's see ranges up on the board. Ranges, linking up with the E in quats or quats. Gives you nine points. So, let's have a look at the scores at the end of the duplicate round. Caroline's on 50, Joel's in the lead with 68 points. <laughs> and on to round two we go. Once again, it's the speed round. They're under pressure here. They've got 60 seconds to score as many points as they possibly can, starting from an empty board, so they need to be cool and be quick here. And you can score quickly because the moment you play the word, we will replace your letters. So, Caroline, you're just behind at the moment on 50, so you're going to go first. But remember as well, if you're not happy with your seven letters, just shout the words, change tiles, and we will for seven new ones, but you can only do that once in this round. So, Caroline, if you're ready, here come your seven letters. I, P, A, A, G, N and L. Your time starts now. No pain, no gain. But there is 12 points on the scoreboard for Caroline. Pop. And using the P of pain, she's on to 21. Oh, we can't allow that word. OZ not in the dictionary. But ZO is. ZO being Himalayan cattle. And Vane hooking up with pain. OK, the time's up. Did you know what a ZO was? No. It's a Himalayan cow. Right. So now you do. <laughs> OK, you've accumulated 41, you've got a total of 91. So, Joel, playing catch-up here, you've got one minute, score as many as you can. Here come your tiles. Z, D, A, H, E, G and S, your time starts now. And he's up and running with Hayes. It's a 32-pointer. Already overtaken Caroline, but accumulating as many as he can. Might stand him in good stead later on in the show. Goads. 63, some high scoring from just two words. Fifteen to go. He's getting jiggy now. Is there one more coming? Not quite. Oh, I think just on the zero. Let's see how it looks at the end of the speed round. Caroline's on 91. Joel looks like he's going into the head-to-head -head final in part two with 157 points. Well, Caroline, you're playing against, uh, well, it seems a bit of an expert here. You did well in that round, didn't you? And you don't go away empty-handed because we're going to give you lots of TV Scrabble goodies. Thank you for playing, Caroline. Thank you. Congratulations to you, Joel. 157 points. Are you pleased with that score? Very, thank you. And are you looking forward to going into the head-to-head -head final in part two? Absolutely. That's when we will see you. So congratulations for now, Joel. Thank you. 
So that's it from part one. Stand by to meet two new contestants who will be playing for a place in the head-to-head -head final against Joel. Back in a couple. Cornwall, a charity organiser from Blackpool, and Richard McDougall, a recent graduate from Sturry in Kent, both here to play TV Scrabble. Hello and welcome back to TV Scrabble, where we've got two new contestants who are ready and waiting to do battle on the board, and of course they're playing for a place in the head-to-head -head final up against Joel, who's our winner from part one. So let's say hello to Barbara first of all. Hello, Barbara. Hello. Or should I say... What's Spanish for <laughs> hello? Hola. Hola. But you spent some time in Spain, haven't you? Yes, about ten years. And Richard, you're Sorry. a recent graduate. What did you graduate in? I graduated in psychology. All right. Whereabouts? Uh, at Oxford University. Well, Richard and Barbara, good luck to you. Good luck, yeah. everybody playing at home. Let's play TV Scrabble. So once again, we kick off with a round of duplicate Scrabble, where each of our contestants received the same selection of seven letters, but they've got only 20 seconds to play the highest scoring word that they can, keeping that close eye on those premium squares as well. So if you're ready to play along at home, and you're both ready, let's have your first seven letters. Z-O-R-R-E-K and U. Your time starts now. Time's up. Ladies first. Barbara, what word are you playing? Zoe. Zoe. Mm -hmm. Let's see Zoe on the board. And what does that mean, then? Um, no idea. Well, I can tell you it's a Himalayan cow. Thank you. Ever seen one? No. And, Richard, what word are you going to play? I've got another Himalayan cow. You've got another <laughs> one? I don't know if we can fit it all on the screen, to be honest. <laughs> Let's see Zoe up there again. And that is where it is going to stay. Here come your next seven letters. F, Y, R, A, U, T and E. Your time starts now. <laughs> Time's up. Richard, what word are you going to play? I've got a foray. You've got a foray. Let's see foray on the giant board. Foray. Linking up with Zoe. Scores you 16 points. Barbara. Forte. Forte. Let's see forte on the screen. Is TV Scrabble your forte? We shall see. That scores you 13 points, but we leave the highest scoring word back up there on the board. <coughs> it was worth more. Foray stays there. Here come your next seven letters. I, U, P, E, M, I and N. Your time starts now. All right, then. Time is up. Barbara, what word do you want to play? Yep. Yip. <laughs> Let's see Yip. <laughs> On the giant board, linking up with the Y of Foray. Scores you 16 points. Yip, yip, hooray. Richard, <laughs> what word have you got? Uh, fume. Fume. Let's see fume on the board. No fuming in the studio, though, thank you very much. That scores you nine. So we're going to leave the highest scoring word up there on the screen, which is the yip, which is a dog's cry. <laughs> and with that, here come your next seven letters. <laughs> E, S, A, E, M, E and K. Your time starts now. <laughs> what can we add, then, to the board? Richard, first of all, what's your word? Makes. Makes. 
which is going to make its way onto the board now. <coughs> there it is, linking up with the S in yips, or pluralising yip to yips. That gives you 11 points from that play. Barbara, how about you? Exactly the same. Exactly the same. So, makes back up there on the board for Barbara. Scores you 21 points, so... <coughs> Unfortunately, though, F-E doesn't exist, so we can't allow that word. Never mind. Let's have a look at the scores at the end of the duplicate round. As you can see, Barbara's on 51. Moving into a lead, Richard on 67. <laughs> on we go, then, to the speed round where our contestants are up against the clock. 60 seconds on the clock to score as many points as they possibly can. Remembering, of course, that you can swap all seven tiles. If you're not happy with them, just say the words, change tiles, and we will do for seven new ones. Look out for those premium squares as well. Barbara, you're just behind at the moment on 51, so you're going to play first. If you're ready, here come your seven letters. T, R, O, S, E, U and E. Your time starts now. And she's on tours. Ten points. Fears, linking up with the S on tours. She's up to 26 points. How close is she looking at those premium squares, though? Can she build them in to her next word play? Poe. And me. Sounds like some kind of kid's show. Ten seconds. OK, your time's up and you've accumulated 43 points. Over to you, Richard. Here comes your speed round and here come your letters. I, A, V, S, N, W and D. Your time starts now. not allowed. Mm. Pearl of Joe is J-O-E-S, so that one didn't count for him. He's got plenty of time to make plenty more. Fifteen to go. And now he's walking it. Now he's walking it. And your time is up. A walk in the park there for you, Richard. <sighs> yep. Let's have a look at those scores at the end of the speed round. Barbara, it's got a score up to 94, but going into the head-to-head -head final, Richard with 160 points. <laughs> well, Barbara, you played well, but not quite well enough. It's been great having you on the show. I think the word that I have to use now is adios. Would that be thank right? Thank you. Gracias. Well, thank you for playing. And you go away with lots of TV Scrabble goodies. So thank you, Barbara. <laughs> But, young Richard, you stay right where you are because you're playing in the big head-to-head -head final against the winner from part one. Please welcome back Joel. <laughs> and a sporting handshake once again, but will they be friends for long? We shall see, because now it's time for our big head-to-head -head final where our contestants will be playing non-stop for two minutes. Each of our contestants getting 30 seconds to score as many points as they possibly can before play then switches to their opponent on this sound. Who in turn plays for the next 30 seconds and so on until the two minutes are up. So the tension is building. Let's play the head-to-head -head final. Joel, you're slightly behind coming into this round, 157. You're going first. Good luck, both of you. Here come your first seven tiles. I, A, S, 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 Z and P. Your time starts now. Where do you start with 
with letters like that. Well, zip. Straight onto the screen. 28 points. What have you spotted at home? Anything? What's Joel going to play next? Right, play switches to Richard. Richard's got points to make up, quickly. <laughs> Missed out, play switches to Joel. Got a 50 point lead at the moment, and improving on that all the time with Hayes, another 18 points. Switching to Richard for the last time now. 69 points he needs to get into the win of the week final. Here comes his first point. Five. And a quick B on the screen there, linking in with high. He needs points quickly. Beef. That's it, you're out of time. You've just got a final word in there, but your two minutes are now up. So who's going into the winner of the week final? Here are the scores. Richard on 198. Joel's the winner with 228 points. Okay. Joel wins, Richard, but that's a very good score, 198. And you do leave today with TV Scrabble goodies as well. So well done, Richard. Thank you. Congratulations, Joel. You look very cool under pressure. You're the winner today. Well done. We'll see you in the winner of the week final. Well done, Joel. <laughs> and that's it for today. But whatever you do, make sure you join us at the same time tomorrow for another edition of TV Scrabble. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>